Feed and Forage Biosciences Programme. Poor quality feed and fluctuating feed supplies with seasonal feed shortages are the major constraints to increasing livestock productivity in many developing countries. Recognising the potential benefits that improved feed resources can bring to increasing livestock productivity, the ORI strategy identified feed resources as one of the thematic priority areas for ILRI research. Selection and improvement of feeds and forages can be enhanced by use of genomic tools. This program focuses on the conservation and use of forage diversity and aims to apply genetics and genomic tools to feed and forage improvement to increase feed supply for smallholder farmers. Success will be seen in better adapted, disease tolerant, improved feed and forage lines that are available to smallholder farmers to increase livestock productivity. While the strength of the programme is currently the diverse forage collection that forms the basis for forage selection and improvement, many of the resources are used to support the gene bank service function to supply germplasm to forage research and development programmes. Several of the most important forage species in the collection have already been phenotyped for production and nutritional value traits, providing the opportunity to have quick wins by applying cutting-edge genomics to forage improvement. The programme has few staff. Although this constrains our activities, it does mean that nearly all our research is done in collaboration with other projects and programmes inside ILRI. There are many opportunities for collaboration with other ILRI programmes, many of which are already ongoing. These opportunities centre around two areas. Building a dynamic programme around feed and forage biosciences and the delivery and impact of improved feeds in mixed crop livestock smallholder systems. Collaborations include with animal biosciences for material storage and data management, use of genetics, DNA technologies and genomic methods for trait identification and feed improvement. With Becker on the project looking at Bracaria and reintroducing new lines back into smallholder systems and use of their genotyping platform. With ASSP Lives and Africa Rising on targeting and selecting foragers for production systems. With Livelihoods, Gender and Impact on the impact assessment of the forage gene bank and seed unit. With livestock systems and environment on the use of forages for NRM and climate smart agriculture. Looking to the future, Chris Jones will join as programme leader in late July and although not able to join virtually this week because of other commitments, he shared his ideas with us on the future direction of this programme. His vision for the development of the program focuses on five areas. Understanding target traits needed by smallholders in livestock systems, taking into account plant, animal and environmental perspectives. Developing appropriate solutions for these smallholders and systems by using traditional knowledge coupled with new technologies to improve feeds. Valuing use of forage germplasm which is key to any improvement program but requires continuous investment. Developing improved phenotyping capabilities to capture genetic potential at both the whole plant and the molecular level. And leveraging the global science community, we need to communicate and collaborate. This is what this IPM is all about.